the Yellen Treasury Department is more than willing to look at ending some of the Trump tariffs. And, you know, your point about Chinese economic weakness is the weakest they've looked in, I don't know, three or four decades, for heaven's sakes. Um, why don't we keep the pressure on? Why don't we keep those tariffs on? And all these things are related, export controls and, you know, onshoring versus offshoring investment. I mean, I'd, I'd keep the burner up. I wouldn't turn it down. I, I totally agree with that. It, it, for, it, for no other reason than uh, at, we shouldn't take their economic fragility or precariousness right now as a cause for complacency. There's a world in which this could actually make Xi Jinping more aggressive in the next five years. I sort of think from a military perspective, we've entered the window of maximum danger. Things might accelerate in 2024. We need to be very careful about what signal we are sending. And we want to be sending a signal of strength that gives us our best chance of deterring an invasion and thereby preventing World War III. And look to Ukraine to see how costly deterrence failures are right now. We don't want that to happen again. So we need to be projecting strength across the board in our relationship with China.